before I let you go, I need you to help me with something. So this lady works really hard, get to bronze, and then nothing happens. What is or it? they get to gold or silver and then nothing. They stay silver for a year, gold for two years. The worst case is they hit silver, but they're still, being get, they're still getting paid as bronze. Yeah. Or they hit gold and they're still getting paid as bronze. What advice do you have for Such people, people. In, that situ right. in that situation? I was teaching that, to be honest, I'm writing an, an article on that, okay, this dawn. And here is the thing, we call something relaunching your team, relaunch. The rank you achieve is, is, is irrelevant. It is only relevant on the day that they honor you. The next month, you are nothing. In fact, and for you to know that you are nothing, you look into the system, the system bring everybody back to associate. So what got you to that gold, what got you to the bronze is not going to take you forward. Whatever effort you put in to get to the bronze, you can't put that same effort to get to silver. Okay? So you need to double it or do something differently. Now for that to happen, you have to relaunch your team. Now what do I mean by relaunch your team? De delete it from your mind that you are a bronze or silver or gold. Delete it. Erase it from your mind. If even people tell you, what rank are you? So I'm an associate. What rank? Oh, I'm an associate. Now, and in reality, you are an associate because mm -hmm. Diamond Associate is an associate. Everybody is an associate. Mm -hmm. Because once you keep that rank in your mind, you begin to become pompous. And you begin to, again, act in the direction of that thinking. Mm -hmm. When in reality, you are not actually doing it. So you need to relaunch your team. And how you do that is that start afresh every month. And the only way you can start afresh is that if you did those things that I indicated, mm -hmm. when we go next month, do the same thing again. And when we go the next month, do the same thing again. You are going to be able to maintain the rank for a while and then the duplication will come in. Because once... Once you hit that rank and you make it your point that you are bronze, you start doing, you get a very good income and the income can eat into your brain. And when it eats into your brain, you lose, you lose the activities. That income you are earning is as a result of some activity you did about three months back, about a year back. It's not that. It's just a reflection of the value you brought to the marketplace some time ago. So you don't let that stop you now. You got to continue and that continuation you see sometimes people look at it as so i'm going to do all of it again so I've, i just i just became bronze last month so i need to start all over again yes you have to you got to sustain the energy and the only way you got to sustain the energy is to act like a beginner there are seven skills that eric warren teaches and says that continue doing them Maintain finding people. Continue to find two more people in addition to your existing people every day, every day. And that is over 700 people at the end of the year. Continue to prospect for a need and then fill that need by inviting the person to come to a presentation. Master the skills of presenting. Develop the art of closing and mature in the principles of follow-up. Once you continue to do those five duplication cycle, cycles every single time, and you don't stop those things, mm -hmm. one, and you tap root that, you, you go down and make sure that everybody is doing it. You know, sometimes what I do, I'll go and check about, about 800 people in my organization, every single person at night. And I'll identify, I'll rank them out, and I'll see that this guy is getting closer, this guy is not getting this guy is getting closer. So I'll call about 200 of them are getting closer. They are not even aware. It's called tap rooting. Then I call it, are you aware you're about to get a bronze? Oh, I didn't know that. And then I said, quickly, quickly, go back. Go and check. You're about to get there. To be honest, many of them will not even go and check. And yet they will work as if you're about to go there. Then they get there. They get there. They were not about to get there. But they were about to get there by virtue of the fact that I've told them. So they work to get there and they get there. Because, again, the RAS, reticular activating system, move in that direction. And that is what the person needs to do. The person should never be comfortable. A person, you, if you are a leader, you should work the hardest. You should bring the most 
people into the organization. You should register the most people. You should do the more follow-ups. You should do the more calls. You should do the hard desk. Because if you don't, if you don't, you will be defined by your value in the marketplace. If you are relying on people to do it for you to sh shine up, you are not going to sustain yourself. Mm. And even if you remain yourself, you see that when another person also comes to where you are, both of you will be at the same rank and yet the person will be earning more than more you. Than you know. yeah. Because the person, you see, the organization is built in such a way that you build deep, but there is a limit at the deep. The matching check is up to seven generations. But you can build wide. You can continue to build wide. So they are telling you that don't focus on more people coming into my organization. That is why the team bonus is capped at 40,000. So that you will now build wider and then generate more matching checks. It is a principle of hard work. It's a principle of not, not resting on your laurels. But continue. Because if it was a job, you'd be doing it this way anyway. Yeah. You, are, you will work all the time, all the time, 20 mm -hmm. years. Yeah. You know, so we need to do that. We need to do that. And usually until you develop leaders, then you can now have a bit of time freedom. Then the leaders will be doing those. It's not the beginners. No, it's the leaders. So if you don't have leaders, you can't really rest on your laurels. And who is a leader? A leader is somebody, I always say that, I'm not yet a leader, okay? Until you have generated about 20 diamonds, you, you have not gotten enough leaders. You have not gotten enough leaders. So do not rest on your laurels and keep repeating the cycle over and over again. And when it gets, I'll give you a final example. Imagine you are driving a car on the motorway, the car stops. And then now the car has stopped, you want to now just push the car. When you are starting, it's very hard, eh? It's very difficult. You do ouch, ouch, you start moving. It's very difficult. Then you see the car moving a little, moving a little, moving a little. Now you get happy. You get happy. Now your two hands were pushing the car. Now you get to a point, the car is moving, car is moving. Now only one hand is pushing the car, only one hand is pushing the car. Now you even use one finger, oh, the car is moving, the car is moving, the car is moving. Because you maintain the momentum. Now the moment you start pushing hard, pushing hard, the car is moving, the car is moving. Ah, you stop. What happened? The car stops. Now you have to start all over again. And then you have to now come all over again, come and start pushing again. Then the car stops. Then you know, all over again. No way. That's not how you build a business. You have to keep your hand on it. And the Proverbs will tell you that. Keep your hand on it. Do not remove your hand on it until the final part. So do that consistently. Because that is, it has to be fun to do this. Mm -hmm. If you feel it, that it's not fun, it's hard, it's, I'm not getting, I'm not. If your mind is switched away from the activities and how fun it is, you, 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 you complain. Mm -hmm. It has to be fun. It has to be enjoyable. I'll tell you a secret. I went to a restaurant. This person didn't know me. And I said, hello, good morning. I have something incredible. Hey, hey please. He just shouted at me. Oh, no, 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 I don't want, I'm not interested. And I said, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I laughed out. Whilst I was going, he said, hold on. You're not angry? I said, what should I be? Anyway, sit down. And I sat down and he registered eventually. I was happy. My joy, my laughter. In fact, I found the whole thing so funny. Because I'm going to help you, you are sucking me. And I found it so funny. And that, 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 you see that kind of joy infected him immediately. And he became part. If you are not having fun with this business, if you are not enjoying the process, if you are not, you see, I always say that Jesus was enjoying the process. And that is why he could say that God should forgive the gentleman on his right who accused him. If he, he was not enjoying, if he hated the purpose of what he was doing, he would have cursed that guy <laughs> before his death. You know, so you have to enjoy the process because you know the end result. The end result is magnificent, it's glorious, it's it's picturesque, it's beautiful. But you have to keep that end result to be able to go through this terrain and the maze. Thank you very much, Dr. KOA. Uh, folks. There you have it. Thank you for spending time with us today. We hope to see you again soon. Bye.